Team, today we're gonna be making a smoked pot roast with all the trimmings in the Ninja Wood Fire Grill. Y'all definitely gonna wanna stick around for this one. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my backyard. So glad you're here. Listen, we got a nice one for you today, real good one. It's winter time. You couldn't tell by looking out here, but it's winter, fall, all that good stuff. Pumpkin spice lattes are out, Ugg boots are out. Today, we're gonna do a fall, winter comfort food. We're doing a smoked pot roast. We're gonna do it on our Ninja Wood Fire Grill. It's gonna be amazing. Before we even get started on all this, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up because you know it's gonna be a good one. And then hit that subscribe button, bell next to it, so you get alerts on all what we're doing here. Guys, we're on that road to 100,000 subscribers. Wanna get there by the end of the year? Need your help? Let's make it happen, what do you say? Okay, let's get into the cook. What I've already done to this point so far, we went ahead and pulled out the three pound chuck roast and we trimmed off all the silver skin we could really find, okay? Now these uh, don't have a whole lot of fat to it, but there is is a bit of silver skin around it, but we took all that off and then we're gonna season it up. We're using some Cosmos Q jalapeno garlic and we're using a little Cosmos Texas beef, okay? Now, as you're going through it, don't forget to do obviously both sides, but the actual sides around the roast, make sure you guys are doing that too. And then it's just gonna sit there and kind of chill out a little bit. It's gonna marinate a little bit. It is a big roast, so don't be afraid to add a, a heavy amount of seasoning on there, right? We went ahead and got my temp spike out. Um, I'll put a link down below, but we are gonna keep track of the temperatures on this one. So we uh, went ahead and put the temp spike in there. We're going to uh, smoke it till it gets to about 160, 170 internal. We're gonna pull it out and then I'll show you from there, all right? Once we got that roast seasoned up, then we went ahead and started chopping the vegetables. Uh, we're, we're gonna cut up and do a little mirepoix in there. So add some carrot sticks, some celery sticks. We're just doing a rough chop on them, okay? These are just flavor enhancers. Got a whole onion in there, chopped it in half, took off the paper, put it in like little one inch slices or so. Next thing we had to do was chop up our potatoes. Again, we're trying to keep them about bite size. So that's what we chopped them up for. Got them in some water so they don't oxidize on us while we're waiting for our roast to smoke, right? Pretty simple stuff going on here. Once the roast is done, we're gonna put it in with the vegetables, cover it with some beef stock. Got a couple of sprigs of rosemary, some garlic. Gonna cover it up with tin foil and then put it back in the wood fire grill. And we're just gonna let it braise until it hits to about 206, 207, 210, right around that area. We want it so it's nice and uh, tender, right? That's it, guys. We are gonna go a little hot and fast on this one. So while we're smoking it, we're gonna smoke it at 300. And like I said, until it hits about 160, okay? Nothing left to do but get to it. Meet me over on the wood fire station. <laughs> and we'll get started, all right? Come on back. All right, guys, we got our roast right here. Been sweating. The seasonings have penetrated a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get it on the grill. No one has to see this, that tongue marks right there. All right, let's go ahead and get our pellets in. These are just comp pellets. No, we're gonna turn it to the smoker setting. Take that temp to 300. Like I said, we're going hot and fast with this one. We hit start. And we're just gonna get that smoke rolling. All right, while this is getting going, right? It's gonna let the good smoke hit it. It should take about 45 minutes, half hour to get to that 160 where we want it to be. Other than that, we're just gonna chill out, wait for it to happen, all right? You guys will be coming on back and we're ready to pull this thing off. Let's go. Team, we're out back again. It has been an hour. We're temping right under 170 right now. So what we're gonna do is pull out that roast. We're gonna put it on the vegetables, throw the potatoes in there. Got a couple, uh, Couple cloves worth of garlic that's been already minced. And again, it doesn't matter who minces it. Got a couple sprigs of rosemary. Got some uh, beef stock. Just gonna put it all together. Then back in the grill. 
until it hits to about 205, 210. I'm just gonna keep it rolling on the smoker setting right now because it's at 300, it's, it's where we wanna be. Still got three hours worth of timing left on there, so there's no need to turn it off and on. The pellets have burned through, so I'm not really worried about smoking it, especially since we're gonna be covering it with foil. All right, let's get this roast off the grill. All right, so we got some of the onions, potatoes, carrots, all that stuff in here. Our roast is uh, shrunk up a bit while it was cooking. Just gonna put this in there, kind of adjust it down a little bit. Let's get the rest of this, uh, rest of the veggies around it. And we're gonna leave our little temp spike in there. And all these veggies are gonna cook down while we're doing the braise. So it may look like it's a bit overfill right now, but it's not. Okay, we got, like I said, a couple of things of minced garlic. We're just gonna spread it around. Got some uh, rosemary here. Pull off some of the leaves in there. Last but not least, just got a little beef broth. You use stock. Use whatever you want to get the braising done. We're just gonna pour it around. This is four cups worth. And that should be enough to get us where we wanna be. Keep in mind the vegetables are gonna, you know, release some of their water, their juice. And the same thing with the chuck roast. Got some foil here. Okay, we got it covered up with some foil. Let's go ahead and get it back on the grill. All right, let's just shut it down. We'll finish it up. All right, so guys, it's another part of the wedding game. This is a real easy recipe, but obviously takes a little bit of time because it just does. You gotta smoke it, you gotta braise it, and then we'll be eating it pretty soon. But then we'll pull it out, take it inside. We'll finish all this up inside and uh, hopefully we'll be eating in a couple hours, okay? If you've made it this far, thank you so much. Again, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, all right? It's gonna be good eating when we're done. I'm telling you that right now. Right, guys, as you can tell, it's a little bit later in the day. We're temping out at just over 200 degrees in there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this roast out and we're just gonna let it rest. We're gonna finish up the video on the inside. Nothing left to do, but just let it chill out a little bit and then we'll plate it up and then we'll eat it up. All right, let's go. We're back inside the house. Our pot roast is rested for a while, All right? We're gonna go ahead and pull it out, plate it up, take a bite, call it a day. All right, let's check it out. There's the, the pot roast. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out, put it on a plate, get it all doctored up and make it look pretty. And we'll get a taste test. Done, we got all the outside pictures taken. We got the inside pictures taken. This thing has been well filmed and documented. All right. All right, so let's just take a bite. I got some carrot, got the roast, got a big piece of potato in there. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> too dang good, all right, too dang good. Like I said, it, this one took a little while because when you're smoking and you're braising and all that stuff, it takes a long time, okay? I don't know, let's call it six hours. I, I wasn't really paying attention. I let it rest for quite a while. We're about to have dinner right now. When I finished it, it wasn't quite ready for dinner. Now we're ready for dinner, so it's ready to go. Looks amazing, tastes amazing, smells amazing. It is amazing. If you guys wanna get yourself one of these Ninja Wood Fire grills, there'll be a link down below. It doesn't cost you anything more. In fact, if you use my link down there, there's a coupon code, save you 40 bucks, okay? Uh, for the temp spike thermometer, any other thermometers, any other stuff I use, merch, all the stuff in my videos, all links down below. Check them out. If you want to become a show producer like all the awesome people scrolling in front of you right now, pot roast loving people, yeah, I'm sure. All right, hit that join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit by now. Other than that, guys, we are done. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.